believer, the devil is a liar because I believe uh, that God is about to bring his people back to a place of power. Uh, amen. Because what you have to understand, when this church first came on the scene, uh, this church didn't come in any kind of way. Uh, amen. This church didn't come in lackadaisical. Uh, amen. This church came in with power. Uh, amen. Blinded eyes were being opened. The lame was walking walking, the dumb was talking, uh, amen, Peter preached one message, amen, and the Holy Ghost fell on thousands, uh, amen, the Holy Ghost came in with power, uh, amen, and if the Holy Ghost came in with power, uh, amen, then this Holy Ghost, uh, this church is not going to leave here uh, with less power than what it came in with, uh, amen, Jesus is not coming back for a lackadaisical church, uh, amen, he's not coming back for a Mickey Mouse church, uh, he's not coming back for a up today, down tomorrow church, uh, amen, he's not coming back for a wishy-washy church, uh, amen, but I believe Paul said like this, he's coming back for a glorious church uh, without spot, blemish, wrinkle, or any such thing. Uh, but in order for the church to get back to that place of power, uh, that means that God is going to have to restore power. Tell somebody God is restoring power. Now, what we experienced, amen, uh, amen, on last week, amen, when the people of God went forth, uh, amen, we experienced revival, uh, amen. And one thing that you have to understand about revival, uh, amen, you just can't up and have revival, uh, amen. I was telling them, amen, you just can't put something together uh, and just call it revival. Revival is something uh, that's going to have to be prayed down, uh, amen. You're going to have to seek God for revival, uh, amen. And we're living in a day and time now where people are calling themselves having revival uh, when really they ain't having revival, all they have in our meetings. That's all they have in their having meetings. Uh, amen. They're getting a lot of people that can put words together. Uh, amen. They can hoop. They can squall. They can holler. Uh, amen. They can speak in the Greek and the Hebrew. Uh, amen. And then they want to call that revival. Uh, amen. Just because people got emotional, but by the time they left, uh, amen, they left no better than when they came in. Uh, amen. But once you've really been revived, uh, amen, I ain't talking about this other stuff. I'm talking about a real revival. Uh, amen. Once you've been revived, they used to tell me you don't walk the same way. Uh, once you've been revived, you don't talk the same way. Uh, once you've been revived. You don't live the same way huh? once you've been revived. When you really been revived, huh? amen, you may have just lost your house, you may have just lost your car, huh? you may have just lost some money, but once you step into the house of God, huh? you'll make it be in your mind, oh, the devil can't take my joy. Huh? Amen. I refuse to let the devil get the upper hand. Huh? He can't have my joy because this joy that I got, huh? the devil didn't give it to me, huh? and if the devil didn't give it to me, huh? then the devil can't take it away. Huh? And when you really been revived, huh? when you walk into the house of God, huh? amen, you may have the weight of the world on your shoulders. Huh? Amen. But you'll make up in your mind I refuse to come into the house of God Amen Looking upset Looking depressed Giving everybody my pity party Amen But when you've been revived You'll walk into the house of God Holding your head up And declaring that this is the day That the Lord has made And I will rejoice And be glad in it See revival don't start With the drug addict It don't start with the fornicator It don't start with the liar It don't start with the backbiter But he said If my people If my people If my people which I call by my name, uh, uh, humble themselves, pray, uh, and seek my face, uh, and turn from the wicked ways. Uh, I'll heal the land. Uh, look at somebody tell neighbor, I'm looking for God to send a revival, uh, but I want it to begin in me. But the day and time that we're living in, huh? amen, the Bible says right before Jesus comes back, huh? amen, there's going to be a great falling away, huh? amen, people are going to lose the desire huh? to live for God, amen, the Bible puts it like this, huh? it said in the last day some would depart from the faith, huh? it didn't say they would depart from the church, it didn't say they would depart from their post, huh? it didn't say they would depart from the choir, huh? but it said they would depart from the faith, huh? amen, and a lot of times, amen, we see people that are backsliding, huh? amen, we're living in a day and time where people are falling out left and right. Uh, amen. You see them in church on fire for God one day. Uh, amen. And then they're out the door the next minute. Uh, amen. And what you have to realize, uh, amen, backsliding is not an overnight process. Uh, amen. Backsliding is not something that's done overnight. Uh, oh, sister so-and-so don't come to church anymore. Uh, brother so-and-so don't come to church anymore. Uh, amen. They must have backslid. No, they didn't backslide. Uh, amen. When they went to that alcohol bar. Uh, amen. They backslide. Uh, amen. When they lost the desire uh, to do the things of God. When they didn't want to pray no more. 
anymore. Huh? Amen. When they don't want to fast no more. Huh? Amen. When they don't want to participate in the service of God anymore. Huh? Amen. They used to sit on the front. Amen. All fire for God. Huh? Amen. But you saw them move from the front to the middle to the back. Huh? Amen. And before you knew it, they were out the door. Huh? Amen. They were in the process of backsliding. Huh? Amen. And what you have to understand when it comes to backsliding, huh? backsliding is a dangerous thing. Huh? Amen. Because the Bible says, amen, when the dog returns to his vomit, huh? amen, the end of that man, huh? amen, is worse than the beginning of that man. Huh? Amen. Because when you first came to the Lord, huh? amen, you were testifying, oh, the devil thought he had me, huh? but I got away. Huh? Amen. And the devil knew you got away. Huh? Amen. But if you go back out there, huh? the devil's not intending for you to get away anymore. Huh? Amen. That's why when a lot of people, when they backslide huh? and they try to come back, it's like, I just can't get a grip of it. Huh? I just can't get back to where I used to be. Huh? Amen. That's why if you got your hand in the hand of the Lord, huh? amen, you better keep it there. Huh? Amen. If that fire is burning, you better keep it burning. Huh? Amen. But that's why I have a problem huh? with all these preachers, amen, taking sin so lightly. Preachers are taking sin so lightly, huh? amen, as if, amen, you can live any kind of way and you can do anything, huh? amen, and you can participate in anything and still call yourself, amen, a child of God and be saved, huh? amen. We live in a day and time where people are making excuses for sin, huh? amen, saying, I sin, you sin, everybody sin, huh? amen, but that's not what my Bible teaches, huh? amen. Oh, well, brother, the Bible said you were born in sin and shaped in iniquity, huh? amen. Yes, I was born in sin, huh? amen. All of us that were in here was born with something in us, huh? amen, that wanted to rebel against God. Huh? Amen. That's why you don't have to teach a baby how to lie. Huh? Amen. You don't have to teach nobody how to cuss. Huh? Amen. They don't have seminars how to lie huh? and do things that's not like God. Huh? Amen. Because that's something that's birthed down on the inside of us. Huh? Amen. Because we were all born in sin huh? and shaped in iniquity. Huh? Amen. But Jesus told Nicodemus on one occasion, huh? amen, even though you were born in sin, huh? if you want to make the heaven, you've got to be born again. Huh? Amen. you got to be born out of this world. Huh? But well, don't the Bible say all sin and come short of the glory of God? No. Huh? The Bible says all have sin huh? and come short of the glory of God. Huh? Amen. But when you come over to the Lord's side, huh? Paul says if any man be in Christ, huh? he's a new creature. All things pass away huh? and all things become new. Huh? Amen. And once you become that new creature in Jesus Christ, huh? amen, you don't have to participate in sin any longer because he that committed sin huh? is of the devil and you can't be of the devil and of God huh? at the same time. Huh? But I want to let you know today, amen, but we living in a day and time where people are trying to make excuses, huh? amen, for the lifestyle that people are living, huh? amen. They want to call themselves preaching a holy message, huh? amen, but they want to preach holiness relative to the individual. Is it what may be holy for you? Don't necessarily have to be holy for me. Just because you believe that don't mean that I have to go in that direction. Amen. But what you have to realize, like the preacher said the other night, the last night, huh, that there shall be a way, huh, and it shall be called the way of holiness. Huh, amen. And no unclean thing huh, is going to be able to pass over it. Huh, amen. Because once you dip and dabble in sin, huh, amen, you know they praying these weak prayers now. Huh, like, Lord, if I fall along the way, no. Huh, amen. Because if I fall along the way, huh, amen, I may not have enough time to repent before Jesus come back. Huh, amen. So I'm going to pray like Jesus did. Lord, lead me not huh, into temptation. Temptation, huh? See, once you get filled with the Holy Ghost, huh? amen, you can tell that devil, I don't do those things anymore. Huh? I don't live that way anymore. Huh? Amen. I don't go in that direction anymore. Huh? Amen. I know they sing songs now like we fall down and we get up. Amen. You can do we live any kind of way huh? and do anything. Huh? Amen. And still make it to heaven. Huh? Amen. Oh, God understand. Huh? God understand you're going to slip up and lie every now and then. Huh? He understand that you're going to cuss, amen, when you get angry. Huh? Yes, God does understand. Huh? He understand if you keep living that type of lifestyle. Uh, in hell you're going to lift up your eyes uh, but the good news is that ye shall receive power uh, after that the Holy Ghost uh, has come upon you look at somebody and tell them neighbor what you need is the Holy Ghost That's what you need, the Holy Ghost. Huh? Amen. But we live in a day and time, huh? amen, where people are backsliding. Huh? Amen. And their people are taking it so lightly. Huh? Amen. But I believe Jesus told a woman that was caught in adultery. Huh? Amen. He said, you know what? Oh, yes, you're forgiven. Huh? Amen. But just because you're forgiven don't mean go back out there. Huh? Amen. And live any kind of way you want to. Huh? Amen. That's what people are teaching now. Huh? Amen. Oh, all you got to do is come to the altar one time. Huh? Amen. And God forgive you for all your sins, past, present, and future. Huh? But look somebody tell them, neighbor, the devil 
devil is a lie. Huh? Amen. He told that woman, he said, yes, I'm going to forgive you. Huh? Amen. But when I forgive you, go and sin no more. Huh? That's a worse, a worse thing come upon you. But many of us find it hard to live this type of lifestyle. Not so much because of what the devil is doing. Because of what we're doing to ourselves. A lot of us, the devil is not our worst enemy. A lot of us, ourselves.